welcome to PDSC Oldbury, the Marion and Christina INSQ Centre of Surgical Excellence. Today we're just going to have a general wander around and actually see the pet hospital from the point of view that most people never get to see from the inside out and hopefully it'll give you a slightly different perspective on the, the amazing work that goes on here. Here this is where the clients come in to access our services. It's our main reception area, our dispensary area, we have separate dog and cat seating area, we have a, a suite of six consulting rooms off the main waiting room. This is where I will spend the large part of my working week. Welcome to consulting room one. If you look behind me you'll actually see it is actually a double consulting room. If I have a new member of staff, a new graduate for example, I can be keeping an eye on them in the next room and listening to what's going on in there and they can actually pick up and learn from one of the more experienced vets in the second slide. I'm about to take you behind the scenes. The vast majority of the hospital actually lies behind this door, maybe even four-fifths of it. This is our theatre prep area. Um, this is perhaps the heart of the inpatient care facility. Behind me you'll see on the right hand is our main operating theatre. You can actually see without disturbing what's going on in there. So should there be an issue or a problem, we can quickly pop it in, intervene or assist. Someone can ask for help if there was an unpredicted situation. But again, other people can learn simply by, by watching. So Mr. and Mrs. Ionescu really wanted this hospital to be used as a teaching hospital and being able to upskill our new graduates in the profession is such an important part of what we're going to do here. We have a state-of-the-art digital x-ray machine here. We are able to get very high resolution pictures. The key thing these days is because they are digital, they can be seen by our staff at Wolverhampton, in Edinburgh or wherever that kind of goes. This little fellow, Spike, is just coming back into his recovery area. We have essentially three areas, canine recovery area, a feline recovery area, and a small furries recovery area. And we like to try and keep the animals in separate areas because rabbits get chased by cats, cats get chased by dogs. And they are already in a stress enough environment coming in here for surgery and having those separate areas is a, is a huge contribution to animal welfare. So my name is Stuart Inslee, I'm the Area Veterinary Manager for Central England. This is Leela, who's one of our veterinary care assistants, uh, who's working in dispensary today. And what happens is when a vet decides that an animal needs some treatment, they'll write it up in the consult room, and a label will print out just down here, and then Leela will pick out whatever drugs or treatment is required for that pet. And when the client's finished in a consult room, they'll come into the waiting room and Leela will call them over, give them uh, whatever it is that they need, and explain to them uh, how many times a day it needs to be taken, or anything else they need to take into account. Interestingly, we were expecting with this amazing new building that's really well equipped. Some of our clients may think, actually, PDSA are doing okay. I maybe don't need to contribute as much as I used to, but it's gone absolutely the other way. And I think that's because of the amazing client service we're able to offer using this building. Uh, we talked about the waiting room and, and how calming it is when people come in. And the overall experience is fantastic, and that prompts people to give, give us more money towards the cost of treating their pet, which is amazing. I love every day of my working life in this organisation, that's why I'm still here. Because not only do I come in and as a vet, you expect vets to help pets, of course you do. But we manage to help people at the same time. That animal-human companionship is just so important. And actually being able to do that as a vet is just something that is so truly wonderful. It goes beyond words, it really does. And this organisation allows us to do an amazing job day in, day out. And I'd just like to say thank you to all our supporters because helping us help the pets and people of this country is a true privilege. Thank you.